Greetings, and welcome to MCM 614, Materials and Methods of Construction. My name is David Bertram. I'm the instructor for the class, and this is the introductory video, which will cover some of the basics regarding the course format, essentially. We'll look at the syllabus and the policies that make it up. We'll talk about the online course format. We'll talk about the scope of the class. It's a very exciting class to teach. It's a class that's found in architecture and design construction programs throughout the country. Understanding how the bricks and the sticks, as I often refer to a building's materials as, the bricks and the sticks joined together is really the backbone of all building and design construction programs. This is, however, in my opinion, one of unfortunately too few courses that design and construction students share. It's shared because it's common ground for all. And a reason why it's required of all, regardless of if they work on the design or the construction side of the building equation, is that the class and the text that it's based on approaches building materials and assemblies and the assemblies that they compose with both really broad scope and with really great detail. We will look at building materials not quite from cradle to grave, as they say, but more, I would say, from birth to install. We will discuss, for instance, how tree growth affects the structural properties of wood and some of the very serious environmental concerns associated with specifying the incredibly beautiful and durable Ipe wood. So just great level of detail with everything that makes up a building. Building materials, just in general, an exhaustive and exciting subject for anyone who has a passion for how buildings are assembled. It's essential information for anyone who succeeds in the AEC fields. I'm very excited. I hope you are too. Let's get started. On to the syllabus and my contact information and availability. Email is the best way to contact me. My email is bertramd at phila.u.edu, and my office hours, I'd like to start off and just keep them by appointment. As you settle into the course over the next two, two weeks or so, I'd like to circle back to this subject and see what best suits you in terms of um, my availability. And I think we could probably work on a one-on-one one -on -one basis, or if there's a greater need, we'll set up something structured, but time will soon tell that. Um, if you do, when and if you do email me, please do use the this, this subject heading CMGT614 to help me keep my digital life in order. Regarding the catalog and course descriptions, um, in general, we're going to be looking at building materials. Materials are put together, they form assemblies, and the methodologies that the actual people in the field will use to put the such such assemblies into place. Um, we're going to start at the very, very beginning with site work and excavation and all the way through interior finishes and everything in between is included. Case studies, I think, are a really big, important part of such learning, so I will definitely try to incorporate as many construction photos and construction videos into the class as possible. Um, it's, it's, again, as I already said, it's just super important information for all students, construction management, architecture, engineering, and it, it focuses on, again, all of the systems, and it will, it will um, really look at, though, residential and commercial buildings. Regarding the learning objectives, basically identifying the many, many materials and systems that make up buildings, taking them back, as I already mentioned, back into fabrication and into where they come from, moving forward to how they are connected together and form systems, wall systems, floor systems, structural systems, and such. Um, we'll also explore various um, alternative building materials, and because we will definitely be learning that there are numerous choices that designers make and we want to understand what those choices are based on. We'll talk about sustainability and as much as time permits, code, bu budget, and constructability issues. So everything related to building materials is on the table and we will get through as much as possible. 
Regarding the text, this is one of few classes, um, very, very few classes actually, that I have taught where I stick really to the book essentially. This, this is the classic go-to book for this subject matter. It's Edward Allen's Fundamentals of Building Construction. It's, it's the, the book that I, I used in graduate school when I took this class. The, the business and the industry has, of course, been changing and growing. The book is updated now in the sixth edition. It's, it's the go-to book. It's, it's um, a fabulous resource and one you will return to over your career. So a great investment. Um, as noted at the bottom of this slide, important, we will not require access to the Interactive Resource Center. This is a, I, I believe it's a, a code um, that you would use, perhaps maybe accompanied with a CD or not, I, I don't recall exactly, but we will not be using this resource. Um, so when purchasing your text, either a new sixth edition or if you have a fifth edition, I think that would serve you just fine. Don't worry about getting any codes or CDs that accompany it. And just to mention, I um, now it comes in binder editions. I, by chance, they sent me one as an instructor, and I find it really handy, actually. It's a little, a little messy. Um, it takes a little more management, I suppose. But on the left here, you could see my large three, four-inch binder um, holding all thousand pages, um, I guess 500 pages, double-sided. So a big, big volume. And then on the right-hand side, I have my small one-inch binder where I look at two or three chapters at a time. So to make your life easier, you're hauling this book around, um, this might work for you as well. And this text is recommended, not required, um, is Ching's, Francis Ching's Building Construction Illustrated. The edition really doesn't matter. It, it, would, it would be supplemental. It, it's, the Allen book is fantastic in, in the types of images that it uses, and Ching is, uses a different type or specializes kind of in a different type. I'm just going to jump right to the next slide and kind of explain that. Um, here we go. So on the left hand side of the screen here, we see a wall section, an architectural wall section describing the exterior wall. It has a lot of annotation and it's very flat and very two dimensional, very descriptive. And we will be looking at these closely. The Allen book has a lot of them. They might not be actual construction documents, but um, illustrative versions of construction documents, I might say. Um, here on the top right, we have a photograph of an exterior wall assembly. And then, and again, the Allen book is fantastic. Many, many photographs. What it doesn't have and what Ching's book does is these, um, I guess, do these three-dimensional kind of axonometric drawings. It's, 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 it shows maybe with a different type of clarity exactly how items relate and bear on each other i would say glancing back and forth between these two so if you find if 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 you think this type of an of, of a depiction of an assembly might be helpful to you in addition to the photographs and the architectural drawings i would highly encourage that you look at ching's book high high quality work Regarding grading, the um, it's composed of four different parts. We're going to have weekly quizzes, essentially, or or an assignment, assignment or quiz. It, it all falls in the same category. Each week, something to show me that you're keeping up with the reading and absorbing the um, what I would consider the most important information. Um, so we'll average all of those quizzes, and that will account for 40% of your grade. We'll also have standalone midterms and finals, each 25%. And the midterm will include everything from day one until approximately the sixth week in the summer session. And the final will not be cumulative, but it will pick up where the midterm left off in week seven and take us to the end week 12. And then 10% of your Grade will also be for class participation by way of our discussion board, a very important function of online learning. Um, so I'm really looking forward to touching base with all of you each week. Um, the quizzes and the books are open book, of course, and I will provide an entire week for them to be completed. And um, 
that is about all I have to say on the grading. <clears throat> <clears throat> Regarding the course's online format, each week a module will be made available on Sunday and remain available for the remainder of the entire course. So I will never take away the content. You could always return to it. Um, the, mod the modules on Blackboard are are organized in a certain manner. They include an introduction, learning objectives, and reading and resources for each week's module. Um, I don't know, I doubt I will use all three of them, but I will try to take all that Im important information and probably just put it into an introductory video like this of some sort. Um, they will, of course, include the lecture videos. That is the heart of the matter, the subjects, the subject matter that we will be looking at, my file name and convention here. So I will call something presentation 1.2, the construction professional. That tells us that the one indicates that we are on chapter one in the book. And the number two tells us that it is the second presentation of that week, essentially. Um, then there is our discussion board, which I just referred to, and any assignments or slash quiz. So those are the four big pieces of what you will find on Blackboard and how I will organize each week's module. The scope of the class. Um, so in general, I think I've already communicated to you that there is a lot of content. It is a content heavy class. and my friendly advice starting off on how to manage it the quizzes and the assignments and the exams will base be based on my video lectures so i am taking what i think is the most important information out of the allen book which could be covered in a reasonable 12-week period and i am bringing that to the top and putting it in my lectures so that is where i recommend you start after viewing my video lectures then i would recommend going through the textbook and familiarizing yourself with how the content is laid out and where it is located. So you could see on the right hand side here, one of um, a page from my book. So I, I scan through, I read perhaps the first sentence or two of each paragraph. I highlight every word that is in italics. I don't, I might not know what everyone means, but I know the, I know of them and which categories they fall in, at least to start, and I identify any figures. And I do read over the figures and get a sense of the content. I might not delve deeply into every figure, um, but I will definitely read, read the bold titles and understand where things are found and what content is found in each unit. So I hope that helps um, manage this big book. And finally, the topics of study. So this is a tentative 11-week um, study, uh, schedule of study for us. And it is, it, it's, it's tentative. Things might move up and down a little bit, but, but this is really the heart of what we will be looking at. So I'll let you review that. It's as promised. We're going to start really week one, a little different. We're going to talk about the um, professions actually the design profession followed by the construction profession and then we'll talk about sustainability so three big important topics we're going to cover in week week one um, a lot of a lot of content a lot of text and then week two we will get into breaking ground um, that, um, earthwork and foundations and then we will work our way up through the structure closing it in closing in in the shell and then moving inside and finishing up. 